you're probably familiar with the green antelope horn milkweed that is abundant along our roadsides this time of year. But there's a lot of native milkweeds that are supporting the migration of monarch butterflies. And there's two I want to introduce you to. This one is Asclepias tuberosa. This is also called butterfly weed. And you can see if you have noticed it on the side of the road with these bright orange flowers, it's definitely going to grab your attention as well as the monarchs. A lot of times we think milkweeds produce those uh, milky sap when the leaves are broken, but this particular milkweed, Asclepias tuberosa, doesn't actually produce that milky sap. So you don't have to worry about it irritating your skin. Also, Asclepia tuberosa does prefer dry soils. While the majority of a butterfly milkweed has these bright, almost construction orange flowers, you might on occasion see a yellow flowering one. And in fact, there is a cultivar on the uh, market called Hello Yellow that has yellow flowers also that you can purchase. Now, this particular milkweed can be slow to germinate in the spring, so be patient with it. Um, but it is easy to germinate from seed. So if you want to collect those uh, fuzzy, silk-like seeds, you can do that. Um, it might take a couple of years to really establish itself to bloom, though, so be patient with it. The other thing is, is if you see it in the native um, areas, make sure that you don't dig this one up because like many of our native uh, wildflowers, it has a very long, deep tap root. And so you're likely not going to be able to transplant it. But this is a really good milkweed to have in your garden. And then we have another one here behind us. Now, if you're looking for an Asclepius that's really going to provide a lot of forage for those monarch caterpillars, you can't beat the common milkweed that we have here in front of us. Now, in a garden setting, this plant can get up to eight feet tall, but in the native areas, it probably is going to get to be about three to four feet tall. You can see it has plenty of vegetation on it with these eight inch long, um, sort of velvety leaves to it that are opposite and they continue to go up as the stem grows. Also, it will bloom a kind of a rosy pink flower that um, starts out in the axis of each of those leaf uh, buds. With these flowers, the, this Asclepius not only provides good forage for the uh, larval caterpillars, but it also will provide nectar for the butterflies as they continue their migration. Now these flowers, once they start to mature, they're going to develop into a warty seed pod and you can harvest those silky seeds. Again, they're easy to germinate. But once you've established this plant in your garden, you're going to find that it really will spread and colonize the areas more by rhizomes. In addition to the green antelope horn, these are also two great native Asclepias that you might want to think about adding to your garden in order to help those monarchs that are migrating through Oklahoma. Hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.